There are people paying hundreds of dollars a month for scanners and chat rooms just to be told what the biggest moving stocks in pre-market were that day. F that. In today's video, I'm going to give you all a custom watch list column that will do that for you in Thinkorswim that you can apply to any of your already existing strategies so that you can have that consistent watch list of the biggest gappers every single day for free on your own. You all just like the video? I'll jump into it. Before we get too deep into my own custom code that I have created myself, let me just say that there is a way that you can do this out of the box within Thinkorswim in a sort of way. If you look at the mark percent change column, this will show you in pre-market, obviously before 930, what stocks are up. The only issue with this is it's the mark being the current price. So after market open, it will of course also continue to change. So if you want to put together a watch list of stocks to trade that day that are up or down the most in pre-market, then you're gonna need the column that I've created that actually stops tracking pre-market change after market open, right? So let's go ahead and dive into the custom column. You can see it working over here. Um, I've got a couple of custom expression subscription limits reached. I've got too much code, I think, going on. I'm not 100% sure what that is, but uh, let's, let's ignore those and skip down. You can see a couple of them here. So the top one, C-E-N-T-A, if I go to... NTA, you can see up 70 some percent in pre-market. This looks like it was just a reverse split. Maybe nothing to get all that excited about. The next one down, CLSK. CLSK did 19% in pre-market. Does that look right? From yesterday's close. I should note that it's it's yesterday's after hours and today's pre-market is what I should be saying. It's it's percent change from yesterday's close. I call it pre-market change, but it also takes into account after hours. And yes, this has made roughly a 19% change. And look, I mean, does this look like it gave you some trade opportunities, right? Was this a nice gapping stock that potentially gave trade opportunities? It looks like it to me. And that once again is the point of this scanner. Now I mentioned it briefly, but you can also use this. I mean, it depends on how you trade, right? You can also sort this the other way around and look at stocks that are down the most from yesterday's close. BTAI down 46%. If I load BTAI, uh, you can see, yeah, massive, massive gap down on this, right? Let's go look at one more here, BETS. BETS, go look at this. This should be down, yes, down uh, relatively large from where it closed here to down here, roughly 19, 20%, whatever it was, 22%, sure. So you can obviously sort it and flip it to whatever fits your trade needs the most. And the way I've set this up as a watch list column makes it super efficient because I've now loaded in my custom scanner that I use every day, my runner scanner. These are the kind of stocks that I like to look to trade intraday. And I can apply this custom watch list column to now now see on the types of stocks that I know I want to be trading, which one had the largest gaps or the smallest gaps. However, I want to go about trading it that day, right? GGE on this day had a 44% gap up. So you can see now how you can take this and as a watch list column, not only to see what stocks are gapping the biggest, but what types of stocks you can run it on any scan so you can run it on the types of stocks that you already want to trade and then see which have had the biggest and smallest gaps an extremely powerful tool i'm about to give you all the code for the pre-market watch list column so obviously you don't need to do anything extra to access what this video is about but if you are interested in any of my custom indicators any of my custom trade strategies any of my custom watch list and other watch list columns they are all available on my website daytradingstrategies.net for only $25 a month you're going to get access to over 40 codes which is ridiculous and of course it's a membership you can cancel whenever you would like I do charge as a membership because I promise at least one new code a week and I've been going a little bit crazy with the codes lately so remain subscribed if you'd like to continue accessing the strategies and codes that I'm making but if you're just interested in downloading what I have now feel free to sign up and cancel daytradingstrategies.net Link at the top of the description. 
We'll see you over there. Right, have I properly baited you guys enough? If we, are we long enough into the video? Are you guys still there with me? Is it time that we actually show you the code and how to set it up? Let's go ahead and dive into it. So to set this up, you're gonna go ahead and click on this small little cog here in the top right of your uh, scan columns, and you're gonna hit customize, and then this is where you are going to be able to create uh, custom columns, right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna look up custom and any of these custom columns it'll be custom like one through 20 or something like that you can click on this scroll here and then if you go into the think script editor you will be able to paste the code that i will have in a paste bin in the description of this video so if you'd like to just copy and paste it feel free to do so but let's go ahead and dive into the code not necessarily an extremely complex one i mean it's only like two lines of code but a very powerful one code doesn't have to be overly complex to be powerful actually very typically that's usually the ones that are the most powerful anyway getting out of my computer engineering brain um so all it's doing is it's plotting the daily open minus the close of yesterday divided by daily open that's how you calculate percent gain multiplied by 100 of course to make it a percentage and then it is rounded to only show up to two decimals and then it is painting green if greater than zero and it's painting red if less than zero that's what it's doing now we do need to talk about this since it's using the daily open uh function call here this is really only going to work after market open so like after 9 30 after market open you're going to be able to run this scan but that's really when you need it anyway right like i mentioned if you are trading in pre-market and you want to see in real time what is up in pre-market all you have to do to do that is use the mark percent change column so you would just double click add this and then if you're looking in pre-market you can use that i don't need to create something that does that the reason I wanted to create this once again was that so you had this watch list all day. You had your created watch list of stocks that gapped in pre-market that you're looking to trade all day. So that's the code. That's how you set it up. Once again, will be in a paste bin in the description of this video so that you can just go grab it, copy it, and paste it in yourself, obviously, for completely free. So there's some free custom ThinkScript code for you that can hopefully help you become a better trader. I know I have a website. I know I sell codes now, but still on this YouTube channel, I really, really want to provide free value to you guys. You know, I made my website so that I can really, really try to help you guys right now. I say that and yes, I charge for it. I tried to charge a fair price. I think 25 bucks for everything you get, especially go look at, you know, other people selling codes. I think it's a pretty fair price. And I think the, hopefully, I, I can't speak for myself, but hopefully you guys find that the free value I also provide alongside is, uh, is worth it. Worth subscribing to the channel too, if you're not already. You like that segue? That was nice. Please like the video for me, and I'm going to go ahead and sign out of this video. But if you are interested in Thinkorswim scanners, I've made a video on my top five scanners. Once again, giving them all to you for completely free. So go check that video out next on the outro screen. Trading stocks. He talks about trading stocks. It's important for you Americans and other international individuals to learn about stocks. <laughs>